Hey guys, oh, we are back with Montagave here on Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. This is Chris. Hi. And I am Devin, and he's trying to get you the basics. But you know, he let's the let's talk about it here for a minute. Montagave says that they produce honor, honoring and sustainable artisanal tequila that is aged selectively in the world's finest wine bottles barrels barrel bottles same thing right each bottle is crafted for magical moments when you're gathering with friends eating drinking connecting and celebrating huh. celebrating who does that i'm just saying <gasps> sip savor and celebrate does you know what that means what are we celebrating hey october, october 3rd. 3rd that's right seven to nine we yeah. are doing a tequila pairing with Vinny, well, in partnership with Vinny's Uptown Pizza and Vinny himself. We have chosen the five tequilas, and he has chosen and curated the menu, and so we hope to see you out. We are going to do um, tickets at the door, as well as stay on the lookout for our website where you can pre-order those, Yep. Um, so we know how many are coming. That would be really, really nice. So please, if you can make it, come on down. Join us. Uh, we'd love to meet everybody. We're going to be doing, like I said, the pairing. It's gonna. I'm going to talk about the tequila. I'm also going to give a quick little tequila 101 of what it takes to get from the ground to the bottle and, and different stages. And mark it on your calendar. I think uh, we're going to try to go live um, just so that you can kind of see what it's like. You there might you be go. questioning what what is a tequila pairing in 101. Right. So... Keep it on your calendar. Join us that day right here on YouTube, 7 to 9. Um, we are going to, uh, you know, get Vinny on camera and talk to him about, you know, what his inspiration was to, you know, create the menu. And he's got some ideas coming up. So stay with us because this is not going to be the first one we do with Vinny's at Vinny's Pizzeria. There you go. But Montagave. All right, so let's talk about it. As you can it's see, from it's from Cascoine, <laughs> which is one of our favorites. Yep. So let's talk about this thing. This thing is already half gone because I've been drinking on it for a while. All right, so um, this is a Blanco, but you'll notice it's got a color to it. This thing has got a light straw color because even though it's been put into a barrel, as long as it is less than two months in a barrel, it still can be called a Blanco. So, first of all, the agaves are resourced from the valley. The lowlands. That's right. It is the lowlands. They uh, use stone brick ovens to cook it. They use a roller mill to crush it. They use deep well water to, uh, to bring it to proof. Uh, they're using stainless steel tanks in fermentation uh, process. It's open air fermentation as well, but without the fibers. It's distilled twice, both, uh, and it is a stainless steel pot with a copper pot coil. coil. The barrel that they age it in is the a finest. Bordeaux. Okay, there you go, a Bordeaux uh, uh, barrel, and it is uh, rested in there for less than two months. Um, it is certified, no additives, so it is additive free. And it's a product of Mexico. That's right. <laughs> it better be because it can't be called a tequila unless it. Had. Uh, it's from uh, a certain state, and online you can see I see Old Town has it for about sixty five ninety nine, so it's not a bad uh, bad price. Hmm. Now you're gonna notice a lot of different flavors into this, but it still has that um, that dis I don't know I just feel like that distinctive uh, Cascoine Distillery. There you can still smell that because it's like lowlands and briny definitely very earthy and full of mineral yes. minerality yeah um i don't know if i think the bordeaux plays into that or if it a little bit of gray stands on its own um that one i'm i'm not really getting on the nose but definitely kind of what you're what you look for out of our nom 1123 which is oh, the cascoline yeah. Yeah, I get, I do get a slight grape flavor. Flavor? On the nose. I, I get the scent <laughs> of grapes. I get the cooked agave. Brininess. Uh, earth minerals type thing. 
<sighs> That's nice. I like it. But <laughs> I've already drank through half of this thing. <laughs> I get that, of course I get the cooked agave, but more, I get more, I do get the grape on that. You don't get grape? No, I get a oh. sweet butter with a lot of mint. Really? Okay. Um, which is very nice. This is delicious. To me. Let me read through some of the people's comments on here. On the nose, people are getting cooked agave, flowers, okay, flowers, minerals, grapes, fruity, citrus, earth. Hey, that's a new one. I've never heard anybody say hey, but um, oh. Okay. okay. How do y'all know what hay tastes like? First off, smell. are you out this there smell. like smell, smell, like eating it with your horse <laughs> out there? Some for me, some for you. Uh, oak, grass, black pepper, and plum. Okay, I'll give you the plum on the very back. Okay. Here's what people are saying when they taste it. They're saying cooked agave. It's fruity. Uh, black pepper, minerals, grape, citrus, flower, earth, a briny salt, uh, berry. Okay, I didn't get that. Oak and cinnamon. I think I get the cinnamon on the very back. The very, I think back. that turns into that berry or that plum on the on the very back of the palate. Mm. Okay. Well, do you like it or not? Is this something that you could see just sitting and chilling? It is an easy one to drink, so very easy. So I think you know it would be great to you know do what they you know are talking about magical moments with friends. Why not? I mean, I, I I'm really and these are a couple as long of as they aren't uh, aren't aren't uh, too uh, excited and grinding right. all over you. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of folks from uh, from up in Colorado, uh, they are the ones that curated the idea. And um, they first rolled this out in Colorado, and then now they've rolled it out all over the place. But, um, and I think they're actually, I, I have a, I got to go back, but I swear I heard something about the gentleman that uh, created this actually had, have a winery in Colorado, and they took their used wine barrels down to Mexico, got with the uh, Cascoine Distillery, and made an amazing spirit. Okay. I think that's how that came about. But I, I enjoy it. I mean, it's it's really good. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Do us a favor. Hit that notification bell, the subscribe button, and also, we love it when you interact with us. Give us a comment. You know, like, hey, you guys are full of... Uh, <laughs> or, you know, we love what you're doing. Or can you guys maybe check out this brand of tequila or this brand of bourbon or whiskey or gin or whatever? Let us know. We're all open for that. But ultimately, we we thank you for tuning in. And always remember, sip, sip savor, and celebrate. celebrate. Salud.